Hello, Rhett here. Um, so Angry Bird Space, uh, super popular, and oops, I messed this up. And uh, everyone wants to analyze this, so I'm, I'm really going to try to go as quick as I can and show you how to analyze, uh, how to, to play with uh, Angry Bird Space uh, using some free tools. In this case, Tracker Video, uh, and so hopefully it won't be too long or too complicated. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So I've already opened Tracker Video. You can get that. I'll put the link somewhere. Um, it's free. Runs on everything you'd want. And I I made a video. Now, the video. How do you make a video? You, you could just use a video camera and record uh, your phone. Um, I use the um, Mac App Store version of Angry Birds Space. So it runs on my desktop, and then I can use screen capture like I'm doing here to get a video of it. That's what I did. Uh, and then I've already opened that and dragged it in here, and, and this is something that comes up. You'll see, oh, these frames are messed up. So what, depending on how you capture a video, it may mess up some of the frames. If you just ignore this, you'll probably be okay. So I'm going to say fine. Okay, so here's the whole video. Uh, one thing you'll notice, uh, I don't need this first part, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut that off. So I'm just going to scroll forward. Uh, and, and the other thing you'll notice, because it helps a ton, okay, is when you start the level, zoom out all the way. When you zoom out all the way, um, then the screen won't, the background won't move, and you won't have to adjust your coordinate system, and that's going to make your life way happier, way happier. So zoom out all the way before you shoot, whether it's on the iPhone or whatever. Now, maybe you don't play that way, but zoom out. Okay, now I'm going to just uh, scrub forward here until I get to the uh, shot that I want. I'm just going to do this first shot. And, and right there, I'm going to back up. Okay, let's scoop forward one frame until the hand lets, right there. Now, this is right down here. You see it says frame 190. I'm going to go up here and click the video proper clip settings and start the frame at 190. Uh, why? Why? Because that way if I add in new masses or anything, it goes back to this starting frame. I, why keep that other stuff? You could do the same for the end, but I never do. Why? I have no idea. Okay, so now the next thing is to put the coordinate axis in there. So I'll click coordinate axis. And in this case, for Angry Bird Space, you want to put this right in the middle of the asteroid. Um, that way, if you want to do um, radio coordinates or anything like that, you already you already have it. If you put the coordinate system over here, then it's going to be more uh, more difficult to calculate whatever you want. You could do it, but I just I'm just, gonna, I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. I've already looked at this asteroid before, and I'm pretty sure that's about the right location. You can always move this later. The next thing is to put the scale in here. So I'm going to click right here, a new calibration stick. And then you, it's hard to see, but it's right here. I'm going to move this down here. Let me zoom in. So you can zoom, zoom. So you can see a little bit better. Oops, what happened? OK. And there's my uh, slingshot stick. So I'm just going to put one end at the bottom, one end at the top. And then I'm going to say this is uh, 4.9 meters just from my previous things. It doesn't show up very well, but that doesn't matter. It's done. Okay, zoom back out a little bit. Um, you, could, you could use anything to, to scale the video that you want. You could define your own scale, but I will, I'm just sticking with what I have before. Okay, moving right along here. Now we're going to start tracking the motion of this bird. So I can go to Create, Point Mass. And then if you hold down the shift key, you can just click on the bird, it will advance a frame, and you can keep on doing this as long as it makes you happy. I'm going to wait for a second. Okay, right here. Now here's the other fun thing is to click on this, go to Auto Tracker, and then you can um, make the thing automatically track. Uh, control, let's see. Control shift click this guy. And then you can change the how much it's going to evolve and look ahead and all this other stuff. Usually it, it's fine. You could do uh, clicking search right here will just make it go as far as it can go. But or you can just search next 
and you can make sure it doesn't make a mistake, but you can do it a lot faster. Move it over here. It may lose it once it hits this thing because it will have like a poof. If that does, we'll just fix it. Going to poof. Okay, let's see. It didn't find it. So now I can just, I can click that. I can click it again. I can click it again. So you can, you can switch back and forth. Sometimes it might skip a frame when you do this, but I'm going to click it until I'm, I feel comfortable that it's getting back in something more typical. Okay, let's see if I can search it manually now. Nope, it didn't find it. Okay. And there's probably, let's just close this. I'm, I'm not going to get all this. Okay, I skipped a frame. That's fine. I'm just going to click some data because we're not really doing a real analysis here. I'm just showing you how to get it. You, and if you, worst case, you just click on all these guys. It doesn't take that long. Okay. So I have enough data. Uh, so let me move my little video down here. Okay. Uh, so here you can plot whatever you want. This is X versus time. Maybe it might be better to change this to Y versus X and you get the trajectory. Um, if you right click on this and go to analyze, then it'll, it'll show it in a nicer screen. And here you could, you could do whatever you want. You could fit functions to this, which doesn't make sense. So instead, let me plot the uh, X versus time. Let's go back over here. X versus time and analyze this to get the, okay, so it has the old one in there too. I can just turn that off. Uh, now I want to get the slope of this line right here. So I can just highlight that stuff and click fit. And I, I want a line and that gives me the slope right there. So the slope of this line is the x velocity. You could do the same for the y velocity. Okay. So, you know, this has a whole bunch of nice stuff in there like the magnitude of the velocity versus time, or you could do magnitude of velocity versus r. That's a pretty nice graph right there. Okay. So, um, let's turn that off. So, this was to say it was going at a uh, that's during the, the time. Oh, here, this is cool. If, I, if I'm not sure, this is R, not time, but if I step back through the video, you can see here it's highlighting on the graph where that is. Cool? Okay. So you could really answer all sorts of questions that you want here. I can't remember what I was actually going to do. This is, this is not the best level. Um, what if you want to look at the trajectory um, do I have time? Who's, that's eight minutes. Okay, quick, go back to trajectory. I want to show you some, oops, X versus Y. Okay, I want to, I want to, one of the things I do is plot the trajectory versus my model. And, and you can do that in tracker video, but I don't know how. So, uh, over here I have, uh, X, Y time data. Um, if I just highlight the stuff that I want, Move back up here. Uh, go down here to highlight all this. And I click copy selected data. Oh, you can't see this. But full precision. And then I can go to a text editor. Text editor. And I'm going to make it plain text. And paste it. And then I can, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. I don't, you can leave it in there if you want, but I know it's T, X, Y. Just makes it easier for me. I'm going to save it. Save this. Doesn't want to save. Oh, it's thinking about it. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to pretend like I saved it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, but anyway, then I'm going to skip that part. You could, oh, there it goes. Whatever. Um, you could then use Python or even Excel or whatever to plot this, uh, the data. You could import this text file into Excel and get uh, time, x, and position. So you have everything you need. Um, but that's really just a really basic. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other tricks. Oh, the other one that I always forget, uh, if you want to measure like the radius of this uh, asteroid, you could go to Create 
and then go to measuring tools, tape measure. And then, then it uses the same scale as before, and you can just put that wherever you want. Um, OK, that's 10 minutes. So um, you now have all the power to do the analysis. So use it for good and not for evil. And that's all. OK, have fun. <laughs>